Hey you guys, thank you for tuning in to my channel again and watching another video. How do I become a private investigator? That is exactly what we're gonna cover today. A lot of people are surprised when they find out some of the requirements or lack of requirements when it comes to becoming a private investigator. Where y'all at? <laughs> So let's get right into it. I have a lot of friends and associates and they're like, man, I know I would be a good private investigator because I found this out about this person or I found this out about my man or I know how to dig for information and find this and find that. A lot of people automatically think that they would be a good private investigator. And what some of you may know or may not know is that I am a full-time investigator in the government sector. That's what I do for my full-time job and part-time. I'm a serial entrepreneur and I also have a son that's in showbiz and so I'm his momager. I'm a sports mom. I'm a mom of five boys. I'm married. I'm remarried. It's my second marriage. But I have been doing investigations in the government sector for about 10 years now. And so I've always wanted to be an investigator. That's something that I've always wanted to do. And so I manifested becoming an investigator. Now, how did you manifest becoming an investigator? Well, because I wrote it down. I was intentional with becoming an investigator and getting this job. And the competition was stiff. I did an interview and I was hired. So you're interested in becoming a private investigator you want to know how do you get into this industry and so basically um, in order to be a private investigator for some states you have to meet some requirements okay you want to make sure you at least have a high school diploma or equivalent some states want you to have a training program in investigations or law enforcement they want you to have real-time experience Okay, and some states require license or certifications. They may also have an age requirement, like you may need to be 18 years old, have a driver's license, pass a background check, okay? And then some states also require you to have so many hours to become a private investigator. And so you wanna make sure that before you get super excited and joyful that you actually Google what do I need to do to become a private investigator in Ohio? What do I need to do become, to become a private investigator in Texas? What do I need to do to become a private investigator in California? Okay, and then also, if you don't have any experience and you're starting from the ground up, you may wanna look into a private investigation training uh, program. And if you look into those programs, some of them include the National Association of Legal Investigators, NALI, you can Google that, or the American Association for Private Investigators, which is AAPI. So you can definitely look into that. Once I got into investigations, I decided that I wanted to open up my own private investigation company. And so I'm not running a private investigation company right now. However, I went through the, everything that I needed to do in order to do that. So one of the first things I did was I did a business search for my state to see if the name was taken. And then I also went to the federal government's website to see if the name was taken because obviously I wanted to trademark the name. So the name of the investigation company was called Stanford Investigations. And so I went to my state of Ohio and I became incorporated, which for me, I got an LLC under Stanford Investigations. And another requirement for my particular state was that they wanted me to have so many investigation hours, real time investigation experience. So the state of Ohio is a state where you can't just apply to become an investigator. You have to have so many hours. Now I was surprised to find out that there are some states, they don't have any private investigation requirements. You just go to your state, you incorporate your business, and you're good to go. So it's definitely something that you wanna make sure that you're looking into before you decide to start this business. And there's all different type of private investigation. So the only reason why I'm not 
running and working my particular private investigation business is because of my job. My job does not want me to have a private investigation business because they feel like it is a, um, a conflict of interest. So because I work in a government sector, let's say I get a case to private investigate and we end up having to work this case, right? But I've been doing private investigation work on a case. It could be a big, big conflict of interest. So they don't want me doing it. But there's all different type of investigations you can do. You have your infidelity investigations where someone is, they may hire you to find out if their spouse <clears throat> is cheating. And that may include doing surveillance, background checks, um, following them back and forth to work or following them to a hotel and taking pictures. You may even have to put a spy cam on them. Some uh, private investigation companies, they may have de decoys. Someone that will go in to where their spouse is, like the gym or a bar, and see if they can get them to, I guess, cheat. You also have asset searches where private investigators help individuals and businesses locate hidden assets such as bank accounts, real estate, and vehicles. That's that's a big one. You also have private investigators that look for missing persons a lot of times. You may hear on the news how someone is missing a loved one and they've hired a private investigator to find them or even a long lost family member. Let's say you're looking for your dad or you're an adoptee. You may use a private investigator for something like that. They also have insurance investigations where people are hired by insurance companies to investigate fraudulent claims. That's a big one. You also have surveillance investigations, which we kind of touched on already, where you're gonna go and gather information on a subject's activities. You have alimony investigations to help, you know, people gather evidence to support their alimony claims. You know, I've heard of um, someone that was getting a divorce and their husband was trying to get alimony from him, but they knew that he was working. And so, you know, you just would be surprised. You have elder abuse investigations where people want to find out is uh, it may be a nursing home, it may be a home health care agency or something like that. You have background checks, which is which pretty, pretty general. You may do a thorough background check on someone. You may go and interview the neighbors. You may go and interview their previous employers or uh, current employers. You also have skip tracing investigations. And that's where you're using techniques to locate individuals who may have skipped town or who are intentionally hiding. So just to recap, you wanna make sure you're meeting the basic requirements, okay? Some states want you to be 18, some states want you to be 21. You may have to complete a training program. You wanna make sure that you gain experience. Again, when I look to become a private investigator for the state of Ohio, they wanted me to have so many hours doing private investigations. So that's something that you wanna make sure that you look at, get that real-time experience. There are tons of investigation companies always hiring all the time. So it's not too hard to get experience because a lot of private investigation companies are looking for people that can do some surveillance work for them. And you wanna make sure that you apply for a license as well in your state, just to make sure that you are completely certified to do investigation. So in the state of Ohio, you must be licensed. Again, in your state, you may not have to be licensed, okay? And in the state of Ohio, we have to get a license pr from the Private Investigator Security Guard Services. And so there's different classes of licenses that we can get in the state of Ohio. And some of them are just for private investigation. Some of them are only for security services and some of them are for both. So if you're looking to also get into the security industry, which some companies, they do serve a dual purpose. They have investigators, but they also have security guards as well. Um, you must have a qualifying agent to get your license. Now, I looked up the requirements recently just for this video because you always wanna make sure that you are up to date on all the laws and the requirements because things change. Now, a qualifying agent is the agent that will be doing the actual investigation, the investigations for the company, okay? And that 
private investigator, they must do a criminal background check and they have to pass an exam. And in Ohio, the init initial licensing fee is 405 and they want you to pay 375 for the actual license application and $30 for the qualifying agent application. And also another thing is too, all licensed providers must carry comprehensive general liability insurance at all times. So that's something to think about, you know, um, it's not free a lot of times, even if you just become incorporated in a state that does not have a lot of requirements, just understand that you may have to pay something to get started. And so um, there are tools that you can use when you wanna become a private investigator. So that's something also to look into if you're interested in becoming a private investigator. There may be some things that you wanna purchase, right? Like surveillance equipment. You may want to have your cameras, binoculars, so that you can see because you don't want anyone knowing that you're doing surveillance on them and listening devices. You want to make sure that you have access to background check databases because you want to be able to use these databases to gather information on individuals such as criminal records, property ownership, and more. You also want to get a GPS tracking device, right? These are tracking devices that you can put on someone's car and you can actually use your phone to track them. You can actually pull up their location on your phone. And so you can check their movements and you can gather evidence that way. Oh, this person was here at this time, at this date. And it will also record their movements as well. You definitely want to make sure you at least have a phone with internet connection. I tell people to get a computer, make sure you have inter internet access because as a private investigator, you're going to be using the computers and the internet to conduct research communicate with your clients and gather information. And of course, a cell phone, because it's important that you are able to communicate and stay connected. So again, if you want to become a private investigator, just Google, how do I become a private investigator in the state of Ohio? How do I become a private investigator in California? How do I become a private investigator in Virginia? And make sure that you're looking at the government websites because there are a lot of websites out there that are just trying to draw you in to get money from you or to get you to sign up. A government website will generally have a .gov at the end of the website. And that's how you know that it's a legitimate website. Okay, so for instance, my website for the state of Ohio is homelandsecurity.ohio.gov. So I know that I'm on the right website. I'm getting the right information. You want to make sure you're getting the right information because again, you may not need so many requirements like the state of Ohio. If you have any more questions, please drop it in the comments and I will do another video on that. But please, you guys, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm trying to bring good content that I know that you guys want to see. And plus, this is my personal vlog. So I'm just going to blog about, blog about everything that goes on in my life, the type of questions that I get as I've been living my life and things that's going on in my life as they happen. So thank you again for watching.